This time last week, it was just a whiff of something drier and sunnier at the back end of next week. But now there are stronger signals for higher pressure and more settled weather. But that's all at the back end of next week. Before we get there, there is plenty more to talk about. The next five or six days promise further spells of wet and windy weather. And here's the reason why. This, of course, the jet stream, that fast moving ribbon of air high up in the atmosphere that we often talk about on the 10-day trend. It has been south shifted for quite some time, hence why we've had a very wet July. And it isn't shifting in the next four or five days. It's wiggling around a little bit, but the, the main axis of it pushing there across the southern portions of the UK. It does show signs into next week of perhaps weakening a little bit, the pink colours starting to fade, and showing signs certainly across Europe of being more what we call amplified, more wiggly, if you like. So that is perhaps a hint of a shift as we go into next week. But until we get there, through the rest of this week, through the weekend, and into the early part of next week, it means more low pressure systems heading our way, like this one. Named Storm Patricia by the French Weather Service, been bringing some very gusty conditions across northwest Europe. It does edge away, gets pushed along by the jet stream, a very brief ridge of high pressure, looks like toppling in, but then we have further low pressure systems. This one in particular, again, looking pretty lively. Lots of isobars on the chart, a wet and windy spell for the UK again on Saturday. Again, pushed along by the jet stream, that will clear through. And then there's another very brief little bump in the isobars, another ridge perhaps, but uh, more low pressure systems are by this stage early next week gathering out in the Atlantic. What does that mean? Well, as this low first clears away, it opens the door to northerly winds. So although Thursday will be a drier day with the winds coming down from the north, it ain't going to be too warm. And then it looks like we'll see those northerly breezes easing as we head into Friday because that first little ridge of high pressure topples in, which will certainly bring many western areas a fine day. But again, it isn't going to be particularly warm with the air coming down from the north. Next, we look west and the further area of low pressure, which could turn into quite a, a big feature as we head towards the weekend. It's not just one, it's two that are kind of merging together. And if we rewind the clock and trace their origins back, we can see there's quite a bit of warmth mixed in with these two areas of low pressure. They are effectively tropical in their origin. So there's quite a bit of energy tied into these two weather systems. Add to that the complication that they're kind of trying to merge together and the fact that they're going to interact with the jet stream. And it all adds up to, yes, an area of low pressure with some wet and windy weather for the UK, but also a fair bit of uncertainty about the exact position and track and intensity of the low. Now, this is where the Met Office computer model uh, wants to put the low come Saturday. But of course, we don't just look at one computer model. We look at many and we run them many times. And that gives us what we call an ensemble forecast or the different possibilities, if you like. And this next graph shows that quite nicely. When we look at the European uh, model run, again, for Saturday, this is called a Dalmatian plot. You can just about make out the UK here. Now, the main low pressure system, or the main computer model run, the deterministic run, would have the low a little further south than the Met Office model. But each of these purple and blue dots is when you run that model uh, another time. And these are the different projected positions of that low. So quite a spread there, quite a an uncertainty in the exact position of the centre of the low. Uh, so details about exactly when it'll start raining, exactly how strong the winds will be for Saturday are open to a bit of uncertainty at this stage. But a strong signal nonetheless that low pressure will be moving in and we will see a spell of wet and windy weather across the country during Saturday. This is showing the chance of anywhere across the UK seeing five millimetres of rain or more during Saturday and quite a high chance there, particularly across West Wales and much of the map is an orangey colour suggesting what 40 to 50 percent chance of seeing wet weather during Saturday. It looks a little drier in northern Scotland. Looking at the same graph but for Friday, this is showing quite a high signal still for some heavy showers on Friday. So even though we've got that ridge of high pressure moving in. Uh, still some heavy showers are, are likely across the eastern side of England. And then for Sunday, it does look a lot drier, certainly across the southern half of the UK, and particularly for South Wales and South West England, with a chance of seeing five millimetres of rain or more almost next to zero. 
So we are going to see a spell of wet and windy weather crossing the country from this low during Saturday. But most of the models are in agreement that it will clear through on Saturday night. And then we do have this next little ridge of high pressure, perhaps bringing something a bit drier into the west during Sunday. But look further west and there is another low waiting in the wings again, the jet stream. Not as lively as you'll remember, which is one of the reasons why this low doesn't look as intense, not as many isobars on it, but it could still bring another spell of wet weather across the country during Monday night and into Tuesday. By this stage, we're also keeping an eye on developments across Scandinavia. Quite an intense and large area of low pressure developing here, and that is uh, likely to have an impact potentially on the jet stream and what happens as we go through next week. But before we get there, the early part of next week remaining on the cool side, Further showers, there's some brighter spells in between, and that next low potentially bringing a spell of wet weather during Monday night and into Tuesday. But what happens after that? There are some decent signals of something drier and brighter heading to the UK, and it's all tied in to the jet stream, which is showing signs of fragmenting. It's becoming more wavy, particularly across Scandinavia. But it's also starting to shift to the north, and we may well therefore be on the southern flank of the jet, where we haven't been for quite some time. And that's the warmer side of the jet. And instead of having an angry jet barreling across the Atlantic, it is now more wavy still by Thursday. And again, we're on the warmer side of it. And it's also showing signs of breaking up, becoming more fragmented, a more typical summer-like setup as we go through the second half of next week. What that means for the UK weather is that there is a much higher higher chance of drier and potentially uh, warmer weather. Now, these are the temperature plots for the four capitals uh, across the uh, four nations of the UK. It's a, a little blurry, perhaps not quite big enough to pick out the detail, but you can see the trend here going up and again here going up as we go through next week. Also for uh, Cardiff and London, that trend for the temperatures to rise next week. Now, the bigger the blobs, the bigger the uncertainty, and that does also grow as we go through next week. That's to be expected. But there is a reasonably strong signal that we could be in for something warmer next week. How much warmer? Well, not spectacularly so. So if you're not a fan of the extreme heat, then this is probably good news because we're only really looking at a minor jump in temperatures, but you know, some warmth will be welcomed by many. So these maps are showing the chance of seeing 25 degrees or more as we go through the second half of next week. And it's really across eastern parts of England where there is the highest chance of seeing those temperatures get up to 25 degrees uh, or more through Thursday and Friday. The pressure patterns do look as if they will stabilise a little bit then through next week. Uh, this is showing the, when we run many models many times, the probabil probability of the pressure uh, patterns. Blue is low pressure and that's definitely dominating through the next few days. But quite a strong signal that from the middle part of next week, we will see the, the reds taking over Thursday and Friday, especially higher pressure sitting across the UK, bringing a much greater chance of drier probably sunnier and a warmer weather as well. Will it last? Well, you'll notice through the rest of August, it is ready pink, but it's not a strong signal. So we can't talk about this being a lengthy spell of drier or sunnier weather, but at least there is a decent signal that the second half of next week should bring something more summer-like for most of us. More details, as always, on the Met Office website. And for the day-to-day nitty-gritty details, make sure you're following us right across all of these social media channels.